So you want to pay less in taxes or better yet, you don't want to pay any taxes at all. And I don't blame you. You work hard for your money and to see it being just taken away like that kind of sucks. And that's probably why you're watching this video because you want to know of ways or things you could do to avoid paying taxes, especially in crypto. So in today's video, I'm going to share some pretty clever things you can do to minimize your tax bill this year and probably forever if you do it correctly. But before we get into the video, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already i make videos all about crypto and how you can become rich with it so if that interests you make sure you guys subscribe but without further ado let's see how you guys can save money on crypto taxes also nothing i say in this video is financial advice it's just for entertainment purposes okay so before i list out all the different things you can do you need to first see if you even owe any taxes because you only have to worry about taxes when you sell so if you've just been buying and holding for the past couple of weeks months or even years congratulations you don't have to worry about anything or pay anything in taxes just keep on hodling even if you have like nfts or anything if you never sold it you don't have to owe anything in taxes but for those of you that did sell on the other hand and you made a profit i'm afraid you're gonna have to pay some taxes now i'm not gonna get into the details of how much you owe because that's not the point of this video my job is to show you ways on how to avoid paying taxes all right now that we got some of the basics out of the way what are some things you can do the first thing is to stop using kyc crypto exchanges i'm talking about those exchanges that require you to put in your id to use your services so exchanges like coinbase or binance they all require an id of some sort to use their services the reason to avoid these exchanges is because a lot of these exchanges need to comply with us regulations and that's one of the reasons why kyc is even a thing now because back in the day no one had kyc you could get away with creating an account with just your email and a password but now these exchanges require your identity mainly to reduce money laundering schemes and other shady stuff going on in the crypto space now the issue is is because they have your information information they are obligated to send it to the irs so basically the irs has proof of how much crypto you bought how much crypto you sold or just anything you did on that exchange and that's not cool so what can you do about it the best thing to do is use a combination of two different exchanges a kyc exchange and a non-kyc exchange because if you do everything on just a non-kyc exchange and you make all this money and you want to sell it the easiest way to sell these crypto is through a centralized exchange but if you're sending money to your coinbase account without any trace history they could flag your account and that's a big big no-no so the best thing to do is buy some crypto on coinbase send it to a non-kyc exchange make some trades send it back just keeping everything going smoothly and not depositing or withdrawing any large sums of money all at once because your account could get flagged and you do not want that especially when your identity is already being tracked now, there are a ton of non-KYC exchanges out there, so just be careful that you aren't getting into a scam or some shady exchange. Just make sure they have a lot of volume. Make sure you do a lot of test withdrawals. Just make sure you take all your precautions because they don't have KYC for a reason. Next up, what you can do is if you want to just buy and sell crypto or even if you're a trader is to do all those transactions under an IRA account, which is basically a retirement account. Now, what makes using an IRA crypto account amazing to buy and sell or even hold is two things. Number one, because it is a retirement account, the IRS allows you to deduct the contributions you make from your regular taxes. So if you contribute $10,000 into this crypto IRA, you can subtract $10,000 from your taxable income. It's honestly just like a traditional IRA or a 401k that your company might provide. And the second thing is, is because it is a retirement account, you only have to pay taxes when you withdraw the money when you retire. So you can buy and sell all you want over the course of your life, 10, 20, or even 30 X your money and you won't have to pay any taxes on a yearly basis now the downside is is you're saving money on taxes on the front end but when you go to withdraw the money when you retire that's when you're gonna have to pay all the taxes on your gains so it's like a double-edged sword you can save money on taxes in the beginning and not have to pay anything every year even if you make some gains but when you withdraw you're gonna have to pay taxes on whatever amount is more than what you initially contributed so basically you're just pushing off paying taxes till later in your life unfortunately there's not a Roth IRA crypto account because if there was then you technically don't even owe any taxes even when you withdraw your money but unfortunately there's no such thing yet there's only regular or traditional IRAs for crypto also 59 and a half is the age when you can first start to withdraw your IRA money you can withdraw earlier if you want but you're just gonna have to pay some fees there are a good amount of trusted crypto IRAs out there the biggest one I think is Bitcoin IRA but there are a lot of other ones out there you guys can check out as well another option you have is to take out a loan against your crypto now this only works if you haven't sold 
build any crypto yet, but you want to. What you can do is take out a loan and use the crypto portfolio that you have as collateral. Now, this is something all the rich people in the world do. When you have assets such as properties or stocks, the only way to get your money out is to sell them. But if you do that, you're going to have to owe taxes. And the thing is, is you might not want to sell them. You're just doing this because you need some money to pay for something or buy another investment. So an alternative to that is to take out a loan against your asset because loans are considered non-taxable by the IRS. So what you can do is go to a lender and say, hey, I have this much crypto in my portfolio and I want to take out a loan against it. And each lender will vary, but I think you can get up to like 75% of your portfolio's value. And all you have to do is make monthly payments back to the lender plus interest, obviously. Now, I know this might sound a little confusing or look like you're going to lose money because you have to pay interest, but trust me, every single rich person does this because essentially you don't have to sell your asset anymore and you get to save money on taxes. And if you're smart with it, you can use this money that you took out as a loan and invest it somewhere else and your returns might be more than what your interest payments are. So at the end of the day, you didn't have to sell your assets or your crypto in this case, and you were able to buy another asset or investment that will make you more money for free, essentially. Now, there are tons of places that do this. You have Aave, Compound, Nexo. They all provide loans against your crypto. Now, obviously, this is a little more intricate and probably not for everyone, but it is a solid option that can multiply multiply your wealth even more. Another option you have to avoid paying taxes on crypto is to just use your crypto to pay for things because chances are you're selling your crypto to buy something. So why not just pay for whatever it is you're going to buy, but in crypto? That way you can avoid taxes and it's helping the crypto ecosystem out too because you're using crypto to pay like a currency, which is what the main purpose of crypto is. Now, where can you do this? Well, there's actually a website out there called BitRefill, which allows you to use your crypto to buy gift cards and other things. It's actually really cool because let's say you're going to sell your crypto because you want to buy a new TV. What you can do is instead of selling your crypto and having to pay capital gains taxes just to buy a TV, you can just send your crypto to BitRefill, buy an Amazon or maybe a Best Buy gift card, and then use that gift card to buy your TV from Amazon or Best Buy. And you want to know the best thing about all of this? BitRefill has no KYC, or at least from what I know. Things might have changed because of everything that happened with the FTX, but from what I know, they don't have any KYC, so they don't report anything you do to the IRS. They also have a bill portion where you can pay your bills with crypto, which is, I think, super cool. Now, I haven't looked into it fully yet, but I think it's a solid feature. And it doesn't just have to be with gift cards through BitRefill. There are tons of other places that accept crypto as payment, so you can just buy whatever it is you need through their website and pay for it in crypto. You can also just send your crypto to someone else and have them buy whatever it is that you want through cash. That way, they get more crypto and you get your items and you didn't have to pay any taxes. Now, now, obviously, you should do this with someone you trust. Another option you have is to buy your own Bitcoin ATM. Now, <laughs> this is a little far fetched, but it can be done. Basically, all you need to do is buy a Bitcoin ATM. You can get them for like six to seven thousand dollars and you can just leave it in your garage and you can sell your crypto over there and cash out. The fees would only be like one percent for processing because you own the machine. And obviously, there would be no KYC check. Again, <laughs> this is super far fetched. But if you don't want to do that, you can always just sell your crypto at a regular Bitcoin ATM. Now, the fees would be a lot higher around like seven to ten percent but if you owe more in taxes or you just don't want the headache of having them it might be easier just to use a bitcoin atm to sell your crypto you can also sell your crypto on like ebay or telegram groups now you have to be very careful because there are tons of scams in this space but it's not a bad idea basically let's say you have five bitcoins and a bitcoin is worth ten thousand dollars each that would make the market value of your five bitcoins fifty thousand dollars what you can do is sell your five bitcoins for like forty eight thousand and then someone would send you $48,000 in whatever payment method you guys agreed upon, and you just send them the crypto to them. Now, I'm not saying to do this because I don't know the repercussions of it because I'm not a tax professional, but this is an option. And in this case, the other person gets to buy crypto for a discount and you get to just get rid of yours. So everyone wins in a way. Okay, and the final option you have is <laughs> to just move. Move to a zero tax country such as Dubai, Bahamas, or maybe even Puerto Rico. Now, I know this is a little bit extreme but if you have a lot of crypto and you don't want to pay taxes and your tax bill is really that high, it might be easier to just move to another country and live there. That way you save a ton on taxes because staying in the US might cost you up to like 50% of your portfolio in taxable gains. But these were some ways you can avoid or minimize how much you pay in taxes. Remember, this is just for entertainment purposes. I'm not telling you to do any of these things. I'm just sharing different options that are out there in the world. Now, I know taxes and crypto are very confusing 
confusing topic so maybe talk with a tax expert or if you want there's like crypto tax softwares out there that make doing taxes super easy coinly is one that i've used before and i actually made a video about it i'll put a link to it down below if you guys are interested but they just make doing your crypto taxes super easy but hopefully this video gave you guys some insight onto the different options you can possibly think about before you hit that sell button and incur those insane taxes but that was it for today's video hopefully you guys learned something remember i am not a tax professional and this was not financial advice this was all just for entertainment purposes i have to i have to say that but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in next week's video peace